Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and today I found an ancient grapevine in the historic village of Pozhenzite in Bulgaria. Yeah, seems like pretty much nobody can tell me anything about traditional fruit varieties. You know, yeah, people could, but I haven't found anybody yet who is knowledgeable about it. So I basically, I film ancient trees, and in this case an ancient vine, usually just by guessing the variety. I'm here in the village of Pozhenzite, which is basically something like a heritage village or a museum. As you can see, this is a museum house here. And maybe this is one reason why they saved this old grapevine. Actually, over there at the next house, there seems to be another ancient grapevine. I don't even know the variety. I just know I have seen this variety a lot here in the Balkan mountains. Yeah, a lot of houses have those, those special grapes growing along them, and usually the grapevines are really old. But this must be one of the oldest I saw here. Look at that. It's really thick. It's like, well, almost 30 centimeters. Yeah, about, no, not almost. I think it's about 30 centimeters, or almost a foot thick. That would make it, well, well over a hundred years old. <laughs> Could even be closer to 200. With grapevines, yeah, sometimes people tell you those are ancient grapevines. They are 100 or 200 years old, but often they are just as thick as your arm. That means that people have planted grapevines there 100 or 200 years ago, but sometimes they have cut them back to the ground. Here the stem, I would say, is well over a hundred years old, splitting into two main stems. They have been wounded a lot, look at that, you can look through this one, also this one, the old stem is basically separated from the new growth, but still it looks like it's not struggling too much, it's alive, it's spreading along the house. Here we are not in a wine growing area, we are in the Balkan mountains. People used to have vineyards here, usually at south facing slopes, but nowadays there is almost no wine production here. The wine production has shifted, well, has shifted to areas where it was always more prevalent in the lowlands, in warmer climate and more sunny climate. And this is a good example for one grapevine grown on the southern face of the old houses so that it would get all the sun possible, reflection from the sun, from the white paint of the house, and also be protected from storms coming from the north. Beautiful old grapevine, one of the oldest I've seen. Please comment folks if you know older grapevines or if you know what variety this thing is. The, the grapes are going to become a purple and Quite tasty as dessert grapes. I think they were also used to make wine, but mostly for dessert grapes. So comment if you know the variety. Comment if you know old grapevines in your area. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. Hopefully some of them with fruit tasting from the beautiful historic villages of the Balkan Mountains. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.